Welcome to Know His Word with Bakarolo Agbenga. Today, I will be looking through the book of Psalms 91, verse 1. The Bible says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, we need to look through the eyes of wisdom and light from the Lord in this context. Now, the word dwelleth, we have the word dwelleth in verse 1. The word dweller simply means it has the idea of refraining from oneself. Of refraining from oneself. You just as if, like in a picture where you left your house for the church. Do you see that? You refrain from your house to go to church. So while you are in church, you dwell in the house of the Lord. So that is the idea, to refrain from oneself. And we have the word, the secret place. And when you open your Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 6, we have the word secret place, you know, used in the context of that chapter. Used to describe, to give us a perspective about giving, about prayer, about fasting. So the word secret place, having drawn an idea from, you know, the explanation of giving of hands, that when you give hands, don't let your next neighbor or your, your, the, one, the person close to you know what you are doing, that your father in the secret place know it what you are doing he recognize what you are doing so the idea of the secret place from matthew chapter 6 simply means a place of continual fellowshipping with the father without a need of being seen without a need of being motivated by external forces do you see that so having understood these two category of words the word dwelleth which means to refrain from oneself and the word secret place. How do you know you have entered into a secret place? By the time you begin to experience a continual fellowshipping with the Father without external motivation. Whether it is good or it is not good, Jesus is still good. Hallelujah. That is a description of secret place. So the Bible says, E, that is you, that dwell, that refrain from yourself, and you choose to have a continuous or a continual fellowshipping with the Father. Without external motivation, you will shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In other words, you will experience divine protection. Hallelujah. And when you do these things, you have entered into the realms of the supernatural. You have entered into the realms of confidence where you can say that the Lord is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. You gain confidence. Why? Because you are the one that have refrained from yourself. You have refrained to have a continual fellowship with the Father without external motivation. So as believers in Christ, we are not supposed to be motivated by the good or bad. We are just supposed to be in continual fellowship with the Father just because the Father is good. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord has come to you today. There's someone watching me right now. I bring to you the word of the Lord. That answer you have been waiting for, you are getting it today. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will reach out to you in his favor, in his kindness. So shall you experience this week. In the mighty name of Jesus. I call it done. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. I see you next time.